hey guys welcome back to my channel and today we are making a seeded wholemeal bread right here i have about two cups of flour and i also have two cups of whole wheat flour um when you're measuring your whole wheat flour do not pack it too tightly because whole wheat kind of makes the bread a little bit dense i have about one and a half tablespoon of honey Two teaspoon of nigella seeds or they look like black sesame seeds i have two teaspoons of sesame seeds i have salt i'll put all the ingredients and the measurements in the description below i have my poppy seed my yeast i have my oil, um sunflower seeds yeah sunflower seeds i have some oil olive oil that's what i'm using i'm trying to make this bread as healthy as possible and some rolled oats i also have about two cups of warm water so not boiling water a little bit warm and um whole meal bread or whole wheat bread tends to be a lot of um a, bit, a little bit dense so to help it rise a little bit we're going to be making what we call a bread dough sponge and for this part we're going to use water i'm just checking the temperature of the water to make sure that it's not too hot to kill the yeast but just enough i use this was about 105 um, fahrenheit and i'm putting all my yeasts into the water all my yeast and I'm going to be adding two cups of my wheat flour. This is what I call a bread sponge. I'm going to mix this together and allow it to um, rise for an hour to overnight. I only did this recipe for an hour and you're going to see that while it had some rice, it wasn't, you know, as much as I would have loved it to, but I didn't want to film with the, an extra day to film the rest of the recipe. So I would advise if you have time to make this at least more than an hour, four hours overnight, it would totally make your bread softer because wholemeal is kind of hard, it's kind of dense. You really don't get fluffy with wholemeal. So I'm going to cover this up and keep it in a warm place. You have to make sure it's in a warm place so that all the yeast can be active. And I'm going to cover it up and I'm leaving it for one hour. And the next step after an hour, we can see it has risen, doubled its size. You can see all the bubbles. And I'm going to take my sponge now and then start the process of making bread. If I was making bread without the sponge method, I would have started my bread from just proofing my yeast and starting from this point. But the sponge is very important if you're going to be doing, you know, whole meal. And I wanted this equal, equal, you know, measurement so that there's a lot of fiber in it. So now I'm adding my flour. That's about two cups of flour. If you look, it looks like it has different measurements. That's because for whole meal, when you're filling the cup try not to make it too tight too much wholemeal will be too dense so here you're gonna add all your seeds um, my poppy seeds I'm adding my oats uh, my salt I'm gonna add my honey um, I forgot to add on camera the other two seeds that's my sesame seeds and my nigella seed which is you know kind of like black sesame anyways yeah. and I added that off the camera and I'm going to start mixing this for one minute at one I'm using a mixer a stand mixer for this but if you're using your hand it's gonna take a little bit more time a little more effort but you get there you get there so I'm mixing this for about one minute and my machine is set to one so we slowly mix in and after like a minute or two I'm gonna add my olive oil to the mix and just leave that to the stand mixer to do its work if you are kneading by hand you just take your time to mix to mix to mix to mix you know to knead your dough to get it smoother we're going for a smooth soft moist texture like this 
you have to note that this is wholemeal flour so it really doesn't get so smooth because it's roughly ground so it really doesn't get as smooth as white flour would or your all-purpose flour would or your bread flour would but just make sure it's soft it's moist you don't want it to be too hard because like I said earlier it's already hard then you cover that for 15 minutes and after 15 minutes this is what we're gonna get is risen a little bit more and now we're going to give it the final kneading sprinkle some flour on your workstation so that it doesn't stick together and now I'm taking out my dough from the pan just scraping out the extra bits I'm going to put that on my table and we're gonna knead it Sorry if my dough sometimes in this shot is gonna be out of like the center because I get carried away. I got carried away rather when I was working with the dough, so it kind of like um, moved out of the shot a little bit. But I would explain to you what was going on. So what I'm doing now is just folding my dough in this method, just taking it out in like that, and I'm going all around like that. And eventually, I'm just gonna. You need it like this carefully if it starts to get sticky sprinkle a little bit more flour but i'm just gonna do that and roll it up in a bowl i've gotten a glass bowl right now i want to proof it there's a second proofing that we're gonna do i'm oiling my glass bowl with a little bit of olive oil just spread it around like that and when we're done oiling the bowl we're gonna take our dough now just scrape that into a bowl shaping it properly and yeah like so and I hope you know I'm not like a professional baker or something but ever since I decided to eat healthy you know I, I wanted to make my own bread and I realized in the process of doing my research that the softer the brown bread it means it just has more white flour than whole wheat flour so I wanted it to be as you know nutritious as possible so I, make, I did equal parts flour and flour so this is a bit of a dense you know a dense looking bread but very filling so you, have, you just need a little to get you through the day so now I'm gonna cover this and allow it to proof and after about an hour this is what would have and I'm gonna punch down my dough to release the gases that has accumulated from the yeast proofing and I'm gonna turn my bowl onto my workstation after I flour it so let me just go ahead and get some flour and do that oh see that texture you know you can see that the dough it's stretchy but not really cutting so it's 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 a good dough it's not an amazing dough but it's pretty good to get me what I want you know the thing with baking is I wished I bake more often I would be so amazing at it but I just learned a few things I could you know make sure that I have healthy food at home or tasty food at home and this is what I call the widow pain check so I'm just gonna stretch the dough out and you can see that shows the, the, the dough is ready I'm sprinkling a little more flour I'm just going to prep this dough to put in my loaf pan I'm baking with the 9 by 5 inch loaf pan so that is what this uh, um, recipe the size this recipe takes a 9 by 5 inch loaf, loaf pan and like I said earlier sorry if my dough moves out of the frame sometimes I just got carried away <laughs> I get carried away cooking, it's really hard trying to feel myself cook. And what I'm going to do right now is just with my fingers, I'm just going to press the dough down into like a square 
rectangle kind of shape just to get it ready for the rolling yes I'm rolling bread dough but you'll see why I'm doing that in a minute I'm just getting it to be flat enough for me to roll it like so yes so I'm just gonna roll it into a log and fit it into I always try to measure to make sure it's just gonna be the size of you, you roll it out to the size of the pan so by the time you roll it into a log like this it just fits perfectly into your pan so i think this is about the size i need i'm going to be spraying my pan with some olive oil spray using healthy fats and healthy oils when you're making your whole wheat bread just to keep the calorie you know levels down Now I'm gonna put my log of dough <laughs> into my baking pan. Like so. Tada! That looks that looks good to me. I am going to just adjust it a little bit and then get a wet damp tea towel so if you have a clean towel make sure it's really clean a tea towel um, that's all going to use to proof for the next level so i'm getting a wet damp tea towel i'm going to be covering this for about 35 minutes so that it can 30 35 minutes there about so that it can give it the second rise i've done a lot of rising <laughs> in this recipe if you understand what i mean but that's because we're working with whole wheat so we need to make sure that it has enough air to make it soft you know there's a lot of wheat the wheat in this recipe is a lot compared to what you get in brown breads around the supermarket so now that has risen and you know the fact that this whole wheat is really not going to rise any further than this we're just gonna that's ready and I'm getting one egg and I mixed it with about some tablespoons of water to dilute it and I'm just going to put my egg wash on the top of my bread and this is the most important part or the most exciting part for me when I know the bread is about to go into the oven oh my god it already smells good right now so this is a mix of all the seeds and the oats that I use in the bread recipe and I'm just gonna be topping it off for some designs and garnish you know make it look you know make it look really good when this bakes and I'm just topping it off and this point your oven should have been up to 425 Fahrenheit you know preheating up to 425 Fahrenheit and you're gonna bake this in the oven for about um, 45 minutes for about 45 minutes and when you've done that this is it oh my god doesn't that look so good that looks really good and I'm gonna be having this with my sandwiches with my soups you know it's I'm drizzling some brushing it with some olive oil for a little bit of shine mmm yummy I'll be making some sandwiches with this I'll also be having this with some soups and oh god let's see how good that looks yeah thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't click the notification button so that you can know when i post more videos every week have an amazing day